Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a life project with Ifianza. My name is Ifianza. I am an interior designer and a project manager. I also film about entrepreneurship every now and then. Once in a while, I'll throw in a random video for you. But yeah, basically that's what I do. Okay, so I am based in Ghana. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about casting concrete for your foundation or your floor for your building project okay and i'm going to be talking about it from a project management perspective i won't talk too much about the technical aspect of casting concrete um just because i just want you to understand some of the factors that we had to consider from a project management perspective um for this stage of the project okay so first for you to understand what my role is on the project is to ensure that the scope the cost and the timelines um for the project remain as initially planned okay so the scope is basically what the client is expecting um the final outcome of the project to be the time is whatever the duration of the various stages are going to be um totaling to what the final um go live dates or you know completion dates would be so assuming we've estimated nine months for the project or 12 months for the project you know it's my job to ensure that we stay within the 12 months if um the cost has been pre-decided at the beginning of the um has been estimated at the beginning of the project or at the initiation stage of the project it is my job to ensure that we stay within budget so it's also my job to ensure that um we come up with you know a close enough to accurate <laughs> budget you know for the project and ensure that throughout the project we are sticking to the budgets that we estimated at the beginning of the project okay so now that's what my role is on this project now for this stage where we were casting concrete there were two things that we had to consider now initially we had planned to um, use a pre-mix okay so that's where um, there are companies that do the mixture um, so they use the appropriate um, amounts of water, cement, um, stones, and sand, okay, aggregates. to They mix that ahead of time, and then they come with a truck, and then they pour it on your site. So this is usually very convenient. People sometimes shy away from it because they think it's expensive, um, and it's very, very quick. You know, when you're casting concrete, you have to do it in a day. You can't cast half of it and then come back the next day or two days later to cast the rest of it it all has to be done the ideal thing is to do it within a day just so that you don't have half of your floor drying faster than the other half you want them all to be done on the same day they are all drying at the same time and then when you start your next stage which is um your block work for your first floor your ground floor you know um it makes sense to start the whole thing at the same time because you're um floor was done on the same day you know and it's had the opportunity to dry and bond on the same day when you do half one day and do the other half another day what happens is is that they don't really bond because one starts drying faster than the other okay so um that was one of the things we had to consider using um the premix initially wasn't going to cost us much but if you live in ghana like i do we all know that um prices of things from 
maybe late february um late january sorry through to february and now have changed so much okay so at the time of this project um i think the estimates we got at the time that we were trying to start this stage was twenty six thousand cities okay for the floor of this project to be able to cast the concrete using the premix um so that was going to include um the delivery of the premix the water the sand stone and the um cement okay now because we were at a stage where we realized that no we were going to go over budget if we had stuck to that initial plan um we had to sort of re-strategize okay so what we did here was to work out okay so how many men do we need on site if we have to finish this today and we want to do this manually what is it going to take and what it was going to take was first of all more men more hands okay so um if typically for maybe block work if it's going to take us let's say eight workers on site or five workers or something this time around we needed 13 men and these 13 men included the two um mixer operators so we realized that we couldn't mix manually like we usually would if we are doing maybe block work or something and you don't want to spend too much money we had to get um, the concrete mixer so these are the really the small machines that mix on site so instead of um having one man mixing your cements and someone else pouring water and you know mixing your stones and everything we had a, a machine two mixes that we ordered that did that for us and we got two because we knew we didn't have a lot of time so each one cost us 350 cities now um because of where the site was located was located we had to also think about um the way water sometimes comes up from the ground okay so we used um, mr fix it solution um damp proof solution which we also poured in there i'm just throwing that out there just in case your site is in an area where you have to think about water rising from the ground so we poured we use some of that um depending on what your concrete mix is and all of that you would have to work that out you know so yeah we did that and um so we had 13 men on site we had we needed two trips of stones one trip of sand and 150 bags of cement at the time a bag of cement cost us 59 ghana cities today it does not cost us 59 ghana cities it costs us i think at least 63 or 65 i think it's 63 63 ghana cities for a bag of cement um yeah if you go to a good place you know and so th and this is from 59 so you can only imagine this is just maybe three week difference um and it's already gone up this much it may seem like a small figure but if you're buying 150 bags you know that's a lot you know um so yeah we needed that and then obviously water and labor now working all of this out we ended up um coming to a total of 18,250 ghana cities as opposed to the 26,000 that we would have spent that means that we ended up saving 7,700 and 50 ghana cities can you imagine the difference you know um sometimes in fact um i'll say before january maybe early february um doing manual concrete casting was almost just a little bit less than using a premix so 7750 ghana cities as the difference this time around is a huge difference you know um yeah it's a huge difference um yeah so i'm sharing this just to let you know that sometimes you have to backtrack and re-strategize to be able to meet your timelines to be able to meet your costs and to be able to maintain whatever the scope or the task is for that, part that particular stage of the project um yeah some of the other things that we had to keep in mind like i said was time so we started doing this at 9 a.m and just before 3 or roughly let's say 3 p.m we were already done and the workers were you know they were good to go home um yeah it was it was quite satisfying to watch especially for me because at a point i said oh you know what if this was the price 
initially and now it has changed drastically how are we going to make it work you know you never want to look like that project manager who estimated something and at the end you know everything just backfires and even though it's, it wasn't my fault or anything like that um currently things have really changed i don't know if if you don't live here you might want to do some research right now you start a project in fact when we started this project a bag of cement was about 50 ghana cities in fact in some places we were even getting some for like 49 or 51 cities and if this project started in february because we started roughly in february we are in um this concrete casting was done last month currently we are in june okay so this was in may so if in may we're paying from february february march april may just in less than four months you know we are now paying 59 cities for a bag of cement you can only imagine you know so any estimates that you did at that time <laughs> yeah that's 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 our current situation you know but as a project manager you have to make it work and it does help when you have a reasonable client and they also understand the environmental factors that are now affecting the project you know these are things that were out of our control yes there's contingency um we did plan um a, a contingency cost so that's probably also helping out a lot because at least we have that extra room there and it's probably forcing us to also build quickly because prices of things are going up we want to finish as as quickly as possible anyway so yeah that's about it for this video um yeah if you want to see more videos like this do let me know let me know the kind of the level of detail that you want um in this in my in my videos especially when it comes to um project management um on construction projects or on interior design projects i really enjoy what i do and i, I would love to share um anything that could be useful to anybody um with you guys so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't liked yet just scroll just scroll down and hit the like button for me okay subscribe if you want to see more videos like this if you also like entrepreneurship content or you want to see videos from my interior design projects or my interior design journey as well you might want to hit the subscribe button once in a while i throw in some vlogs and some culture content yes guys thank you so much for watching um yeah just feel free to let me know in the comment section what kind of content you would like to see what we did after this stage was to start the block work um if you want to see some of that you know i'll be happy to share um some of the things that we are doing for that or how we are trying to cut costs on some of the next stages that we are working on um yeah guys thanks so much for watching Bye bye